Hi guys, right, so we're going to do something a little bit different in this video. We're going to do a little review on this Graco Farnex Mini HVLP spray gun that I've just bought from Spray Guns Direct. I've had it about two weeks now and I've had a bit of a play with it. Um, done a few bits on the Super Impressor, the spoiler and the roof bars and a few bits of colour coding on that with it. And I have to say so far I've found it quite a nice little gun. Um, this is one of my last jobs that I was finishing up for Christmas. Just this little blow on on this back end of this Land Rover. So I thought hey why not get a bit of video on it and crack this little grey coat for our next out. Um, we're going to put a bit of base coat down with it and then we're going to put the clear coat down with it as well. So hopefully you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what this thing actually goes down like. Um, in this gun I bought Spray Guns Direct, I think it was about £74.95 plus the VAT. Um, it's on the lower end of the price range for the um, little mini guns. And it's a lot cheaper than the Deville this, obviously. Um, it's just a quick little shot. As you can see the body of it. It's more of a midi sized gun than a mini. It feels really nice in your hand. It's really well made as well. It's a quality little spray gun. Um, and I've got the little regulator on it there just to help me along the way. Um, the little air valves on the bottom I leave wide open. Um, and I have to say, for the price of this gun, it's a cracky little gun. Like I said, I've used it a few times. I've put a bit of direct gloss through it. I put some base and clear through it. And so far, I can't really fault it seems to put it down nice. The only fault I really had with it is that for the 1.2 setup which I bought it in, um, which I bought it really for just doing single panel jobs, the only problem that I found was the little pot is a bit too small, um, especially if you're doing something like this little back end, but this was just a little job to show you guys just how this little mini gun perform really. But I have since found out that you can buy the 3P, 3M PPS cup adapter and use the cups on it. Which, if you want to do a little job like this and you don't want to get your big gun dirty, then that might be really beneficial. I have to say, I might look into that myself because it's definitely going to be a little gun that I'm going to keep. Um, so, as you can see here, I'm just putting down the first coat of base coat just to cover up these few little primer spots. Um, there wasn't really a lot of damage on the back of this Land Rover, it's basically a bit of rust around the bolts, and there was a little dent underneath the handle on the door. So on this job we're using a solvent base coat and as you can see even though it's a little mini gun with the 1.2mm tip it has pretty much covered in one coat. Um, at the end of this coat it was basically fully covered um, and then we just laid a drop coat after that. Um, for a little gun um, it's got a real good fan actually, it's got a really big fan you're probably seeing me earlier on when I was just spraying it off to the side that the fan is cracking on it, you can't really fault it. Um, it's got a nice even finish, you know, there's no sort of heavy or low spots in the fan width, which makes it nice. Um, you know, it's nice to have a spray gun that sprays nice and evenly when it's on full fan, because you want that extra width. Um, so for something like bumpers, like I said, I did the spoiler on the Subaru, etc. with it, it's brilliant, you know. Um, if you're doing a blow-in on a wing, blow-in on a bumper corner, something like that, and you still want a gun that's going to lay it down with as much lacquer after you've done your little spot repair, then this little 1.2 setup I think is ideal because it does chuck a lot of paint out. Um, I mean, my clear gun is a 1.3, and this thing pumps out a nice amount of clear and a nice amount of base. Um, our base mix is one to one, so it's quite a thin mix. Um, but with this spray gun, it, it puts it down nice, covers well, it puts it down even. I couldn't say that even though it was a small gun. And it was quite a big back end, and especially in silver, there was no striping of the metallic or anything like that. Um, still put a drop coat down anyway, I always do that no matter what job I'm doing. Um, but overall, I can't really fault the gun. Um, I've been after a decent little touch up gun for a while. Been looking at a few of them, was looking at the starters and stuff like that, but there's just a bit too much money for me for a gun that I'm not really going to use that often. It's not often. And, the, with the work that I do for this shop that I use a little mini gun. We get a few blow-ins and a few little repairs but most of the stuff that I do is big respray and restoration work so I don't have much of a call for this gun. So for me a £75 gun that's going to do its job spot on really. Um, 
and like I say, you guys will have seen I've had a, quite a few bits off Spray Guns Direct. I do get a lot of my equipment off them. Um, I'm not getting anything for free, it's all paid for. I found the firm a few months back after a few recommendations through Facebook, and I have to say, I can't really fault the sort of customer service that I've had from them so far. All the stuff I've had from them so far has been top notch. Um, not really had much of a problem with them. You know, they're a good UK supplier. And the good thing is for you guys that any of you guys watching these videos can go online and order from them and get it next day. So rather than it being someone that I'm recommending that you can't buy it from because maybe you're not local to them, you know, I recommend these guys because I use these guys and for no other reason. And you guys can all buy from them because they're online rather than local. Alright, so we're going in for the first coat of clear here. The clear that I'm using here is the colour mix. It's 2 to 1, and through my I would drop 5% thinner in it, so I just used exactly the same in this one with it being a 1.2. I thought tip size is pretty much the same, so we'll just give it a bash at the same mix ratio. And I have to say it went down fine. Um, the gun, as far as clear goes, puts it out really nice, pumps on a decent amount. Like I said, with it being more of a midi sized gun than a mini sized gun, it feels better in your hands. So you feel a bit more confident, if you want, when you're spraying it, because it feels more like your big gun as well. Um, with a 1 2 tip, it pumps out only a little bit less, really, than what my big eye water does. Um, yeah, my eye water puts it down a bit smoother, but as you'll see at the end of this video, once I put this clear down on here, there's no need for a nib and a polish on it. We just rebuilt the back end and it went straight back to the customer and the customer was well happy. It was exactly the same finish as the rest of his Land Rover. And I have to say, if you played around with this gun a tiny little bit, you'd get it, you know, a glass finish. I did some good direct gloss work with this one, just on some cheap engine covers the other week. Um, and I have to say, they came out like glass, couldn't really fault the finish on them at all. And that was the same, just 2 to 1 with 5% thinners in it. So, for a little gun, you know, in my eyes, you can't fault it. Some people might have something against these guns. Other people might not like them. A few of my Instagram followers have commented when I po started posting up pictures that I bought this gun, and a few of them absolutely love it as well, which is nice to sort of know that I've gone down the right sort of route with this little gun. And it's for a few of them guys that I'm actually making this review. Um, a couple of the guys are into hydrographics, and they like doing small parts, but again, want a nice glass finish and want put, I put plenty of material down ideal gun for them if you're doing smart repairs single panel jobs ideal gun for you you know but at the end of the day I'm not making anything out of trying to sell you this gun if you like this gun and you like the review on it and you like the finish it puts out then give it a bash if you don't go for something different um, personally this one will be staying on my wall with the rest of my guns and it'll by the quality of it and you know the build of it cleans out nice I'd have to say it'll probably last me a good few years um, it's not a sort of 75 pound cheap overpriced gun you know it's you're getting your 75 pounds worth if you ask me with this spray one and as you'll see at the end it puts down a nice finish um, so yeah over all in all, can't really fault it. Um, hoping in the new year, maybe to get myself a pro light, I think. Um, give one of them a bash, and maybe a little bit after that, I might be looking into a start 5000. Maybe see about giving one of them a bash as well. I have to say, it's a bit pricey for me, the starters, but you know, I think everyone likes the look of them. And that's the only reason really that I'm buying one, I think. It's just because I think that they look really nice and shiny. And I love one on my setup on the wall with the rest of my guns. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little review on this Grey Coat Finex. Um, if you've got any questions, um, drop them in the comments box below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, you know, if you like the video so far, subscribe up. Have a look at the other videos we've done and we've got plenty more to come in the near future. I've already got quite a few ready made and ready to go up. So thanks for watching guys and see you again soon.